guess, well, I guess you can call it a tutorial. Um, we're still dissecting parts um, in the song I Love to Praise Him. And right now, we're going to be transposing uh, the uh, six, two, five, one. Okay, the six, two, five, one there. Um, the six, two, five, one is uh, is really common. It's really common in gospel music, jazz, uh, even uh, or even uh, uh, CCM worship. However, of course, you, you know you wouldn't be playing alternate chords in the six and CCM worship too much, but it is common. Okay. Now, now just to go over, because. Most of the time, us gospel musicians, we're we're used to playing by ourselves, and and it, these videos are meant to show you too many chords for you to play with a bass player. However, to really know how to voice a two-handed chord, or to really know where it's coming from, you need to know already know the one-handed chord kind of. That's kind of that's that's what helps me. Okay, that's what help, helps me. So. If we go and we look at the six two five one, which is C, F, B flat, and E flat in the key of uh, of E flat, then we need to kind of look at the chords that we already use. So I'm just gonna go through this real quick, cause most of you guys already know this. My audience already knows this. So in the key of C, I mean not the key of C, but the on C, we have. Let me change my. Okay, so key of C we have uh, flat sharp five uh, sharp nine or you can flat the nine. Don't matter. M remember I t I said uh, whenever we are we are uh, sharpening the nine, you can always flat it. It don't matter. So either way you want to do. Then two. You can flat the nine or sharp it. No matter. Okay. Five. And then one. Okay, so now that we got that over with, the six, two, five, one. these okay let me show you where these are coming from once again the jazz theory is three seven nine seven three five okay uh, your numbers comes from the baseline of the chords so say for example you know I've already went over this say for example my baseline is E flat okay now everything's gonna run off the scale of E flat okay so with my baseline being C Everything's running off of this scale. That's how I how I can, can grab these concepts. So with C minor, so that means it can change a little bit. Okay, C minor. Well, sorry, C major. The normal, if you really break this down, uh, the normal C will be this. But since since you have this in your, uh, you also keep the major C, and that means the nine comes from the D because the two is also the sharp nine. Uh, the, the nine also. So if you want to say okay, sharp nine, you also just remember it's also the two. So you can you can almost get away with saying sharp two, okay, or right, flat two. It's, 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 it's the same thing. However, we would still have to sharp the five. So that's where that comes from, okay. So in this, 
you have in the right left hand three seven nine sharp nine no sharp flat nine and then in your right hand you have a quarter chord and the quarter chord is built, built off of four and you have built it off the, foot, the dominant seven so dominant seven is B flat the fourth of B flat is E flat and the fourth of E flat is A flat and that's how I think of it, that chord then we go to the uh, flat seven flat I mean sorry uh, sharp five flat nine okay and we take in our left hand I think I've already went over this I think we take in our left hand uh, E flat A flat this is our tritone we build our tritone off the uh, diamond of seven and our right hand three sharp five flat nine okay then we just move it down and to really be honest, this is the same chord as this. We just took that out a little bit. We just moved that down. Same concept. 379, but the quarter chord off the flat seven. And then we hit home. So this this is uh, really based off of 735, but also in jazz, also they'll take that 13. Okay. So seven three thirteen. And then one five one. <laughs> so after you get done with making sure that you have Okay. <coughs> after you get done with making sure that you have that and you've and you've conquered that in one scale. Oh uh, that's that way you can have a reference. I do this by fourths, so if I want to get better at my scales, I go up a fourth, A flat, and I practice it in that scale, then D flat, and so on. Now you can practice this with the metronome. However, you guys know me, I didn't get someone creative and made a little bitty track that way I can have a little bit of fun too. Okay, so we're gonna just go over this. The six and um, we're just um, I'm going to go through it with you um, last time I was just really transparent and I try to practice these to be honest to speak more transparent I try to practice these before I record these and um, that way you, get, you guys can get a good idea but once you when you, a lot of the stuff when you first start we start uh, transposing some of the stuff it is freaking it is freaking uh, 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 it's uh, over it can be overwhelming it can be frustrating and you can but once you start to get the hang of it you realize the uh, benefit that comes with it so once again this track is not perfect it's not perfect it's just for for us to practice on the scales it's just for really me to practice on the scales that I, I would do my spare time. So let's start the track here. up okay so what I do when I mess up in the, in the key and I don't think of the six six uh, real quick um, I stop the track okay I stop it and in this key really I had to kind of do some inversions because I couldn't I couldn't do the same chords and cram with the bass line. D flat was uh I usually don't try to go too much over C or B 
Beyonce. So if I can, I'll do some inversions. So this chord is the same as this. Okay. Same. Okay. <coughs> so I go over it, make sure I got it. Okay, this is in B. Okay. Um, then I hit my metronome. I make sure before I go into it. Go back over the track. I hit it with my metronome. And I do it. I get it right three times, okay? times oh and this is the same chord also this is the same chord as this here I just didn't want to take it up so I inverted it here okay so then I play back the track couldn't think of it too fast so I do the same thing So that's why I stopped a little bit. So I was in the right key. So I'll do it again. So here's the second time.
So hopefully you got uh, an idea on how to practice um, this. I I used to do it a, a second and a third time also, uh, and I make sure I get it right all three times. So um, hopefully you got an idea. I left the uh, mistakes in there because that way you know that way you, you guys can know. Okay, this is how I would practice. You know, this is how I, I would make sure a scale is right. Uh, my teacher used to say, um, and he still probably still does, um, he used to say, just don't practice things once. Practice things, when, he said if you can get it three times, he said the thing, if you can get it three times, then you know you have it. But he said if you practice it once and it just go over it, he, he said, and you're defeating yourself. So don't defeat yourself. Don't defeat yourself. Hopefully this helps, and I'll see you in the next video next week.